Welcome to B Code Wall. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a carousel like this. You can see in my web page a beautiful carousel animation. So, to make this, we are going to use HTML and CSS. So, if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe us. It motivates me more to make this type of projects and I am will happy to share with you. So, please subscribe me and support. So, come to our VS Code. In this, I have taken my HTML file and CSS file. So, here, first in my HTML, I have written my basic structure my HTML and then I have taken the title carousel so here you can see here the title will appear here above the carousel so then I have linked my CSS file style.css then come to our body tag in body tag I have taken a div with class frame and in this div I have taken another div with class center and in this div I have taken another div with class card and card1 here the two class I have taken for card and card1 so then in this div one more div I have taken with class drop and then out of this div means in this card class d i have taken one more d with class contain and in this i have taken the content here i have taken five divs you can see here i have taken five d with class lines and style with I have taken 104 pixel. Similarly, in another div, I have taken 112 pixel. In another one, 97. In another one, 108. And another one, 52 pixel. I can show you this list line. See, here the lines are here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, see 5 lines you can see clearly here 5 lines are here with different widths so for that we have made my class to make different lines so like that we have to make see first we have made 3 5 5 lines in one content but here we have taken three carousel one two three you can see here clearly so like that we have to take three cards one two three so see this is first one then this is second one and this is third one so like that i have here written a different class card 2 here card 3 so that we can style animation for the different cards so it come one after one with animation delay so for that then I have defined the different widths of the lines of the different cards we can see here here the different lines are here with different animation on card so like that you can write the code in your code editor and see the result so after doing this 
will go to CSS file. In CSS file, first I have taken my body tag with a background color. I'll show you my background color code. So then I go for the class frame. Here I have taken the class frame. So in class frame I have taken position absolute top from top it should be fifty percent and left it should be fifty percent so that why you are taking this to make in our frame into a center so here I have taken width 400 pixel and height 400 pixel you can take your own width so then I have taken margin from top minus 200 pixel and margin left minus 200 pixel and then I have taken border radius 2 pixel and a box shadow so that it look so good so it's like coming out so like that I have taken the border so after that I have taken the overflow should be hidden whatever the energy will overflow that should be hidden then I have taken a background for the frame I will show you this is the our background color code here you can see the background color code so then I have taken color should be white whatever is the text color it should be white so you can define then I have taken class center and in this I have taken position absolute and height should be 130 pixel and width 400 pixel and top 135 pixel and left should be 0 and what will be the transformation it should be preserved 3d and here I have taken perspective 60 pixel so that it should be in center you can see here this whole card wheel in center and this beautiful animation then I have taken class card then card position I have taken absolute width 140 pixel height 130 pixel and top 0 then I have taken left 130 pixel and background white then I have taken border radius 3 pixel overflow auto and box shadow to look a beautiful effect so here I will show you here is the background is white of the, our cards so like that card top with 100% and height 30 pixel and a color background see this color code so you can see here a yellow type color on the top here you can see here top so for that we have taken this then in content I have taken class content 70 pixel from top and bottom padding and 14 pixel from right and left then in this I have taken lines so lines height should be 4 pixel and a background color so I can show you it's not clearly visible but you can when you see in my web page its line has some different colors so for that I have taken this color then I have taken margin from bottom it should be 6 pixels so that it maintains some space between the lines so then come to our these three cards card 1 card 2 card 3 classes then in this I have taken so that it will animate see it is animating it's going back it coming front going back coming front so for that animation I have taken animation name switch 1 then it should be 5 seconds and it should be 
is in out and it should be infinite it will not stop and should be in both so like that we have to take for card 2 i taken switch to name of the animation then it's then same it should be 5 second animation should be in 5 seconds so then is in out infinite and both like that but just we have changed our animation name in this three card classes then come to our keyframes first we have target switch one in this we will animate so this is the main part of the animation so then at 0 and 100% I have taken transform translate 3d from xyz 0 0 then I have taken box shadow with a black color so then I have taken at 33.3 percent I have taken translate it should be 3d so how it's work so 145 pixel see and then see 0 and from z 45 minus 45 pixel so you can see here it's a c it's a big now it's going back it's become a small c it's going back it become a small it's coming out it become big so for that we have taken so then like that we have taken for 66.66 percent then same i have written that transform translate 3d but here i have taken plus 145 pixel here i have taken minus 145 pixel then similarly for keyframes switch to for second card so for second card similarly i have taken we have to take similar only because see in all we have same effect i'll show you here it's coming out coming back with a diff fixed time interval five seconds easy in out and so and at 145 pixel it's coming in x axis then it's going in zero pixel y direction then z 45 minus 45 pixel like that for switch 3 also i have taken minus 145 pixel and then 45 minus 45 pixel from z so like that i have taken at 33.3 percent and in this i have taken 0 0 0 from x y and z then similarly we have taken at 66.66 percent at this 145 pixel from x and from z minus 45 pixel then a back box shadow so why we are taking back shadow so that it's look good and it's like it's coming out it's keep on something like that so that it's so a beautiful effect and styling our carousel and it's look attractive so i'll show you my once again code you can write this code in your code editor i mostly prefer vs code because it has many extensions and shortcuts and it helps programmer to improve its coding skills so like that we can make your carousel like this with a beautiful animation so if you like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends so thanks for watching we'll meet in next video